Uh oh. Bad news regarding Isa. Daryl Isa. So Daryl Isa, you know, we talked about him yesterday. On Wednesday, he said he's not seeking re-election in California's 49th. He has, however, been discussing with colleagues about the possibility of running in a neighborhood uh, San Diego district if embattled re representative Duncan Hunter resigns. So Isa is per potentially um, going to be running in a different district. That district, however, is already... Uh, run by a Republican in San Diego, Duncan Hunter. Some of these discussions happened as recently as Wednesday, which was yesterday, the day I said announced he would not be running for re-election in his coastal Southern California district. Most of Washington took that to mean ISA, the former oversight committee chairman and Congress's wealthiest member, was leaving Capitol Hill for good. But in his statement, ISA never specifically said he was retiring from Congress. With the support of my family, I've decided that I will not seek re-election in California 49th district, ISA said. Later, he added, while my service to California's 49th will be coming to an end, I will continue advocating on behalf of the causes that are most important to me. I'll be still looking out for rich people. I'll still be trying to make as much money as I can. If there's another way that I can get involved with politics again so I can continue to be corrupt, uh, I'll do that. The wording of his statement, um, specifically referring to this district another time, makes people believe he left things open to run for Hunter's seat if he resigns, one California GOP source told the Hill. And ISIS spokesman did not respond to requests for comment for this story. Federal law doesn't require a candidate to live in a district in order to run to represent it. We know that. That's why there's a ton of representatives that uh, don't live in districts and they, they don't even live in the same state and they have some bogus uh, address or something like that. So I guess we'll see what ISIS has done. He might not be done. I know we said it was good news. Uh, that he's not, and it is good news because there's a good chance we might be able to get a progressive in the 49th. Doug Applegate is running there. He does have uh, some corporatists he's running against, but uh, we'll see what happens. And, you know, I'd rather have a progressive in the 49th and then just another Republican in that San Diego district uh, than still have just two Republicans. So I guess we'll see what happens here. Hey guys, thanks for watching. That was a clip from Get Your News On with Ron, the world's first viewer curated streaming news show. What does that mean? That means I log on to a stream and people tweet me articles over on Twitter at Ron Placone, or they use our Reddit subsection, which is just Get Your News On with Ron over on Reddit. And that's how we build the show. I'm seeing all these articles for the first time. We are literally getting our news on together. Follow me on Twitter at Ron Placone so you can participate. And this show streams live every Tuesday through Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, so please do tune in. If you want to support this show, you can do so over on patreon.com slash romplacone, where for as low as a dollar a month, you get access to exclusive podcasts every week, exclusive videos, free tickets to shows when I'm performing in your town, and more for as low as a dollar a month. Please do consider it. Thank you so much for your support. This has been Get Your News On with Ron.